Not only does Lauren, the 15-year-old you're about to meet, have type 1 diabetes, her brother and father do as well, and they've given her the support she needs to power through the handful of shots and finger pricks each day brings. An illness sometimes invisible to the naked eye, but if you take a closer look, you'll see how type 1 diabetes can affect a teen's life. It's hard to explain to people who don't know anyone with diabetes or... Um, or haven't you know lived with it like we have like they don't understand the struggle and like what we have to go through every single day in her day totaling more than 30 needles lauren takes an insulin shot before every meal and an additional one before bed she also pricks her finger every half hour it is um, a scary disease they are in charge of keeping themselves alive every day something it hasn't stopped her from her love of softball softball is my Number one, I love it. I love softball so much. Her frustrations with the disease being she can't always play to her fullest ability. <laughs> Other players had to sub in for me and it was just, it was annoying because because <laughs> it's something I love so much and, and seeing that opportunity get taken away because because like my blood sugar is low. A frustration other diabetics face, the price of insulin. Depending on insurance, the cost can range from $20 to more than 1000 causing some diabetics to resort to extreme and dangerous tactics to save money. And it's um, 20000 plus, you know, um, with everything that, mm -hmm. that they have to have. Nearly 30% of participants in a recent poll said they've rationed insulin because they couldn't afford it. According to another study, one in four diabetics admitted to having rationed their insulin at some point, but making adjustments to insulin can be a dangerous result. They can dose too much and they can go into a coma. Um, they can dose not enough, they can go into ketoacidosis. Both are very dangerous. You die from this. Despite the dangers and frustrations that comes with it, Lauren has found ways to keep her head up and not her blood sugars. Rationing insulin is strongly discouraged by medical professionals because it can lead to elevated blood sugars, which after time can result in the loss of eyesight, sensation, and even limbs. We'll have the signs and symptoms and more info on type 1 diabetes on our website, 6onyourside.com. Reporting live in studio, Jessica Taylor, 6 on your side.